The Go Higher podcast is provided by The High Program at Wayne State University. The High Program, helping individuals go higher. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Go Higher podcast, where we take on the tough and relevant subjects in everyone's day-to-day lives and provide insight on how to respond, resolve, and re-inspire yourself and those around you. Today, we are going to discuss how to determine if a news source is reliable or not. Unfortunately, our social media feeds and news sources have become increasingly unreliable. During our last two presidential elections, there has been a lot of rhetoric about fake news without a lot of talk about how to identify what fake news looks like. Fake news does exist, but calling something fake because it doesn't mesh with your conception of the world is not a good strategy for determining truth. Fortunately, Many library groups have worked together to create a criteria to help us determine a reliable source from something that is fabricated. Here are five criteria you should ask yourself before deciding if a news source is reliable or not. First, is the article current? Often, articles found on social media will seem like they are current or relate to current events, but actually are an older article that is being passed off as current and relevant. For example, If a politician makes a comment in a previous election, it may be brought back to sound as if they are making that comment in the current election cycle. An older article may also contain information that was considered true at the time, but new research and data has disproved. The claims made may no longer be relevant in the current context. Always make sure to check the date the article was written before trusting it. Although it may sound similar, you always need to make sure that the information is relevant. Although the title of the article may seem like it has the context that it is relevant to the issue, always make sure to read the actual article to make sure it is truly relevant. Since many websites only make money when someone on social media clicks on their links, clickbait has become a real issue online. Even if the article addresses something related to the topic at hand, make sure the information is actually relevant. Just because the information is related to the subject doesn't mean it is necessarily relevant to the subject. Next, make sure the author has the authority to discuss the topic at hand. Newsrooms are meant to hire people who are genuine experts in subjects they are writing about. Since anyone can put an article online nowadays, you need to check the author's credentials to make sure they really know what they're talking about. Google the author and see if they have written more articles on the subject. Where is the article posted? Just because a source is well known doesn't mean it's reliable. Also, check to see if the author or news source has an agenda. If an article is discussing the dire need to cut taxes on the wealthy, for example, but is funded by a billionaire, the funder's interest in the content of the article may present a conflict of interest. Next, try to verify the accuracy of the information. This can be done by doing more research on the subject. If you find the same information on multiple news outlets, then chances are the information is reliable. Always be skeptical of articles that appear only in one source, as this may be a sign that the entire story, or at least parts of it, are fabricated. This also includes images containing stories that are being passed around social media. If the image makes a claim without citing a source, as some do, then you should be immediately skeptical. You can verify this by googling the claim and repeating the processes listed above. Finally, what is the purpose of the the article? Is the intent to shock you or provoke a response? There is a time and a place for this type of writing, but it is not when you are trying to find reputable facts. You may have an emotional response to an article about something tragic, but if the article is discussing something fairly mundane and fiery language, maybe find another article on the same subject. Inaccurate news articles that are intended to provoke a response often serve only to confirm our own beliefs, not inform us about the nature of the world. Thank you for listening. College can be difficult, but for some students, financial issues can make things impossible. The High Program at Wayne State University provides critical funds to students who are having major issues with basic needs like tuition, 
books, housing, and food. It's amazing, but just a few hundred dollars at the right time can save a student from dropping out or from being homeless. Students should not have to decide between basic life needs and finishing their education. The HIGH program has connected hundreds of students with these basic needs and provided a light at the end of the tunnel for what amounts to the most difficult period of their young lives. If you would like to help, donations of any amount are welcome, and you can find all our information on highprogram.wayne.edu or at WSU High Program.